welcome back to my YouTube video. Thank you. I am Abdul. Today I am going to be building a storage for my breaker bar pry bars. So please stay tuned. To do this is some plywood again. And you're going to need a jigsaw, a drill to drill through, and different um, sizes of drill bits. So once you've got your wood here, put them up here and just get all my tools, space them out a little. That much, but I'm going to leave a bit more in case I get a few more. So I'm going to just cut a piece out there and leave my markings here. After I've got my board cut out, I'm just going to measure it, it's about say 13, so I'm just going to mark it at 7, I'm going to draw a line through the middle, and where I put up each of my markings, markings from before, I'm just going to put an X there, where I'm going to be drilling through, so I put X here, X here, and an X here. So with this, I know it's a 19mm. So I need to get a 19mm and drill through that and my big one here is a 22mm. Also the 22 mil, I had to go around with a jigsaw just to give it a bit more depth, but it sits down nice and correctly. So after we've done our cutout like this, what we need to do is measure this to there, find another board that goes downwards. we're going to do now is put, put hole through here. I'm using one and three quarters of an inch screw. That would be your French cleat frame ready. So now what we have to do is get our French cleat and stick it onto the wall. I've got my pry bar and breaker bar holder ready. So now I've got my French cleat cut. Now we're ready to go and put it in. Please go ahead and watch my other storage holders I've made, like this screwdriver one, axle stand, hammer, chisel, skateboard, and others. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you again.